The Chevelle is in primer and I've been working pretty hard on the block sanding. And I decided to go ahead and purchase an inflatable paint booth. And I have a pretty good shop to paint. I've painted several cars in here. It filters good, it's plenty big, but uh, it's difficult because I'm constantly having to clean and I contaminate the shop when I'm sanding and then I gotta clean it all up to paint. So. I thought an inflatable paint booth would uh, be a pretty good idea. The paint booth set up outside will allow me to bring all of these pieces out individually. I can get a better paint job if I pull off the doors and uh, allows me to paint headlight bezels and rear valance and trunk and hood. Um, will just be uh, an easier process for me. And then set those parts aside and paint the car shell in my shop. The paint booth's not big enough for a whole car. And I didn't really have room for a paint booth to fit back here to fit the entire car in. So I decided to go with this one right here. Um, did a lot of research and so and fla um, is the brand. Um, and this one, you know, that's a m metric measurement, but it's uh, like 12 and a half by 12 by 12 foot tall, I think. But anyway, this will be plenty big to bring some parts out and, and get them painted. So inside the box, um, we've got a bag of accessories actually uh, comes with some individual bags you can fill with sand and some ropes and some stakes to, to get this thing pinned down if it gets a little breezy out. Um, and here's the booth and we will get that unrolled and inflate it and check this out. Um, this particular one comes with two blowers, a 450 watt blower that controls the filtration and had pretty good reviews on uh, filtering out the paint and fumes. And uh, what I really liked was this had replaceable filters that you could uh, pull down and, and just Velcro some new ones in. So um, I like that part. But there's also a 750 watt blower that you use to inflate the booth and keep it inflated while you're painting. So we're gonna unbox and get this out and check it out. So this tarp is not quite big enough. Um, the paint booth is 12 by 12, but uh, this is a 12 by 10 tarp. I uh, thought it'd be wise to put a tarp underneath it to keep it clean. And I'll probably place a tarp inside, too, to keep the floor clean uh, as the paint is settling. Uh, there's my cord. I'm using a heavy-duty 12-gauge cord. Got my, got my fans positioned out here. The 750-watt and the 450-watt fan used for filtration. And my cord is plugged into a GFCI outlet. It's pretty nice. Comes with a nice little carry bag. So let's get this thing unfolded and pump it up. I don't know which is front or back. I'm guessing that's the front. Probably pay attention to how to unfold it so I can have some success folding it back up. Step on the end, I've got your hand, and now we're way down. Fade out, no. Was it your plan? Can I understand?
A lot bigger than I thought. Very high. Big enough to paint all my parts in. I like it. in the filtration fan and this paint booth is in operation now of course you need to drop these covers to expose the filters on the side it's a nice shadow we have right there um, as I walk around the paint booth it's pretty bright inside pretty happy with that I don't think I'll need to hang additional lights even though there are some hooks inside I could hang lights with there's my carbon filter with a dropped cover. Um, I zipped up the front large door. There's a smaller door that I can enter and pretty impressed with the zippers. Seem to work really easy. So I'm gonna go in the back door. We'll check this thing out. Yes, inside. blue tube is my filtered air coming through and uh, it downdrafts through these carbon filters and hopefully captures my dust and and hopefully some of my smell too and that should keep my wife happy because when I paint in my shop sometimes she can uh, smell a little bit of paint so that's why we wanted the outside paint booth again these filters are replaceable they just Velcro right off and uh, pretty easy to purchase, not too expensive. Um, nice and high. I think it's 11 feet high. <laughs> Plenty of room in here to paint. Lots of body parts, car parts. Here's my door to get out. Nice and easy to use. Well, here's the paint booth in action. Just got done uh, putting a second medium to heavy wet coat on on the back side of my hood and uh, well it's filtering it's not doing too bad let's go outside you can see uh, a little bit of paint residue coming out through the carbon filters <laughs> I guess it's filtering pretty good well here's the paint booth in action it's pretty tall I think that's a good thing though filters worked great just finished putting a second coat of clear coat my hood, back side of my hood, and uh, the room's pretty clear, filtered out everything really good. We're going to go inside take a look. As you can see, the uh, fog is gone. As most of you know, how foggy a room can get when you're spraying clear coat. Um, two coats, base coat, two coats clear. And the back side of the hood is done. For those of you following Sewell Garage Chevelle project, this is the color that I picked. It's the cement gray, and I love it. And we'll put some black SS stripes on the other side of this hood. We're continuing to filter the air as the hood dries. This is a great clean place to let my parts dry as well. And um, I don't think the noise is very bad, even though uh, you can hear it. It sounds quite amplified as I'm doing this video, but it's really not too bad. 
All right, let's deflate this thing. These little tubes here on the front and back are for your air hose and electrical. bad. Isn't too bad. <sighs> Bag's pretty big. So, I'll get it in there perfectly. I don't care. Thanks again for watching Sewell Garage and uh, subscribe if you want to. Uh, but this is my Sewing Fly paint booth. Appreciate it. See ya.